Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, as this is a collective love message for your sign, please take it how it resonates. And what resonates for your overall situation? Let's see Sagittarius. What do we have for you? What do we have for you Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see. Three of Wands. We have the Devil card, the Sun. Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Mm. Eight of Pentacles. You have someone here, Sagittarius, who's very entitled. That's the energy I'm getting. This is someone who been always convinced that you should wait for them. When I'm getting someone who was or maybe who's been you know in touch with you only when it's convenient for for them when they have time they are in touch with when even you know when they don't have time it's like even if they don't have time they could have sent a message but they're choosing not to do that i'm getting someone who it's like i feel this person also there is something here about them changing their mind with regards to higher level of commitment. It's like once this person wants to be in a commitment, then they don't. Yeah, I'm getting someone who's very, very entitled here, Sagittarius, and they using work as an excuse or something that they've been working on. Busy. I am busy. I need to do this, this and that. Well, will you call me? Well, we'll see. I feel this person, Sagittarius, has a big ego. The devil cut with the sun represents big ego. And everybody has, a, has an ego, I understand. But this is big. <laughs> you know, they're bringing something toxic to the situation. This is someone who wants to be in control. I feel this person is very much focused on control. My way, highway attitude. You need to do this, we need to do this, I'm going to do this, but it's like, you know, it's me, 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 me. It's never us. It's, I'm going to talk about my plans, what I want to achieve, you know? And there is something here about communication as well. And then being very inconsistent regarding this connection, the future of this connection, about the higher level of commitment. You might be dealing with uh, Capricorn, we have Leo, we also have um, Taurus. This person is very possessive, they can be quite jealous, but mainly it's about, it's about ego and control, very entitled energy. And it's like they are not giving you a clear... I feel this person never gave you a clear indication what they truly want from you. I'm seeing them being very focused on, let's say, passion. When they want to be, they can be very, very sweet, very um, romantic. But mainly I feel that they communicate, their communication is focused on passion. And I feel that you want something deeper than that. Mm -hmm. quite manipulative energy I need to be honest with you this is what I am getting here let's see Sagittarius show me more
the hermit king of swords this person created a little bit of a student teacher kind of a dynamic when it comes to this connection Sagittarius that's how it looks like I feel this person can be very problematic seven of cups and we have the tower oh my gosh okay three of cups the temperance and the two of wands yeah this is someone who created a tower moment I feel you know and it, it is something to do with illusions options or them you know keeping options so, yeah I feel it's like I feel that this person likes to keep their options open um, it's like I'm getting here that this is someone who didn't prioritize this connection they made you feel that you are an option and the tower moment happened and it was sudden unexpected it brought chaos and change completely out of the blue hermit king of swords you might be dealing with aries scorpio aquarius virgo sagittarius so another sagittarius it's showing up here as well the hermit king of swords it feels like this person knows exactly what they're saying because hermit represents someone who has an experience and king of swords it's a, it's a strong energy of communication and it feels like this person knows exactly what they're saying what to say and i feel this is someone who who, who was quite harsh with their words at some point mm -hmm. three of cups temperance yeah this is someone who who've always had one foot in and one foot out when it comes to this connection and I feel this is this individual made you feel that you are a friend not like a, you know there is something here about them again giving you mixed signals and there is something here about them telling you you are my friend we are friends we are best friends or something like this you know your friendship means so much to me but you know when it comes to when there was a time when this person was you know talking with you and they were talking about passion that wasn't really kind of a friend to friend communication you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like this person was setting that sort of kind of barrier where again when it was convenient for them so they were using friendship you know and automatically they've created that barrier and and you know naturally most probably you are kind of feeling being friend zoned but then the other as it was for instance another time later they were very romantic or they were very passionate and it's just it's just yeah with the two of wands this is someone who was choosing a certain action at the time when it was convenient for them could you please show me this person's feelings towards Sag sagittarius excuse me <clears throat> we have six of six of wands ace of swords an eight of wands passion mm -hmm. well Sagittarius <laughs> not only passion it seems like the lovers with the two of cups and the queen of pentacles suggests here that this is this is someone who knows that you bring a lot to the table you have so much to offer and you've been very caring and very nurturing towards this connection the thing is here with the with the lovers and the two of cups they feel this connection and it feels like this person sees you as their soulmate someone who've always understood them i feel this is someone who has feelings for you but they are keeping it as a secret I, i'm getting very secretive energy even if we don't have you know we don't have a high priestess you know the moon 
but it's like I feel that what I want to say it is I feel that this person never truly express how much you mean to them and you mean a lot but it's like they are giving you completely different impression six of wands ace of swords eight of wands this person wants your attention and they feel that it's the right time to reach out to you mm -hmm. they want to talk but they are very passionate about you but not only this is someone who has feelings for you the fool they want to have a new beginning the full card Let's see, Sagittarius. Could you please show me this person's... How this person sees this whole situation? Two of Pentacles, the Strength, the Magician. King of Pentacles. Sagittarius, I feel that you are dealing with someone who likes, who wants to have their cake and eat it too. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. They are giving me, they are, they are giving me mi mixed signals. You know, Sagittarius. So if they are giving you, then yeah, because I'm seeing someone who feels like they want to settle down, but they are acting in a completely different way. You might be dealing with an earth sign. So we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, more Gemini, Leo. Two of Pentacles, juggling. Strength, Magician, King of Pentacles. This is someone here who needs to decide. And I feel that at the moment they are quite indecisive. However, energetically on, and on emotional level, this is someone who wants to settle down. And it's like they want to take action. This, I'm getting here someone who very much wants to manifest relationship with you. King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. For some of you, this person might have a child from a previous uh, relationship. Or maybe you have. Please take it how it resonates because I have this Knight of Pentacles. It's like they do want to talk with you about them settling down, creating a family, working with you, Three of Pentacles, it's an energy of teamwork, working with you in order to be in a relationship. I'm seeing them trying to approach you in a completely different way, in a very diplomatic way. But it's like they are still have, mm, they are still indecisive. Could you please show me Sagittarius's perspective? Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. Let's see your perspective, Sagittarius. King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Star, and the Nine of Cups. So you might be dealing with Aquarius. Sagittarius, I feel this person, it's like I'm getting here that you have very strong feelings for them. With this King of Cups, Ten of Cups, I feel that you would like to be in, in a happy, full of love you know supportive relationship with them with the eight of pentacles i feel that you want this person to come forward and show you that they care that they want to that they are willing to put an effort and it's like i'm seeing you wondering how that would be you know to be in a relationship with this individual four of swords is that you are healing it's a strong energy of healing if there is no contact situation sagittarius i feel that you are refusing to take action to take a first step uh, you might be you know we have this page of swords for some of you you might be checking you know from time to time what this person is up to or you are wondering what's going on in their life but the start with the nine of 
cups it's a big wish fulfillment it's a big wish come true so i feel that you are full of hope sagittarius that things can get better and this person will, will realize that both of you are meant to be together you know i'm reading cards that's what i am getting here but it feels that you know your wish will be granted with the star energy and nine of cups and i am getting here that you don't need to have much to do mm, interesting Sagittarius, if I haven't mentioned your person, sign of Zodiac, but you resonate with this message, that's your reading. Cross watches again, the roles can be reversed. Let's see the outcome. Could you please show me the outcome? Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the world as an overall energy for this reading. Number 77 might be quite important, number 44, or number 7744 might be of significance. You might be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Your outcome, Sagittarius, it feels like you will... It's, there is a big possibility that both of you will be together four of wands queen of pentacles that this situation will become more stable and four of pentacles suggests that you know quite i'm getting a long-term relationship actually because four of pentacles suggests that this person is holding on to you and i feel that you are holding on to them as well energetically however i am not getting that you are dealing here with someone who is very easygoing i feel this is someone who needs to work especially with this energy they need to admit certain things and they need to uh, release certain situations or again, certain things that might no longer serve a purpose in their life. You might be dealing with someone who has unhealthy habits or still kind of, they are still are in some sort of kind of karmic energy situations, are involved in some sort of karmic situations or connections. It's, 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 I feel that this is someone who has very big ego they can be quite selfish, uh, I would say a little bit arrogant, but the cards are showing here that it's very pos very much possible that both of you will be at the end, you know, in a, in a, at the end of the day, in a, in a relationship, in a kind of stable relationship. Overall energy for this reading, we have seven of swords uh, and the world, uh, seven of wands and the world card. Yeah, I feel that, you know, this is someone who's been very sneaky and it wouldn't surprise me if you feel like this person played you with the seven of wands i feel that they did everything to push you away but with the world uh, there is this suggestion here that this person feels unfinished business and also a uh, certain chapter here it's coming to an end and it feels like this person will, will want to open a new chapter with you yeah we have this queen of pentacles king of pentacles again four of wands yeah it, it's a very kind of you know this is a couple king of pentacles with the queen of pentacles with the four of wands and four of pentacles is like a you know long-term relationship no one is going anywhere so you know it feels here sagittarius that at the end of the day it is very much possible that both of you will be together mm -hmm. sagittarius i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you sagittarius have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me i am sending you much much love Till next time, take care. Bye.